This video we're going to look at a legal problem called remove duplicates from sorted list number two. So given the head of the sorted link list, delete all the nodes that have duplicate numbers, right? So you can see here we have a link list and the uh, node three has more uh, is our is a duplicate nodes, right? So you can see here we have more than one nodes that has a value of three. So we re will remove that at the end. So in this case, you can see in the result, we do not have node three at all, right? Um, and then you can you can see that node four is also duplicates, right? We have duplicate numbers, which is node four. We remove that in our result list, right? In our list, we remove node four. So there's no more fours in our in our list, right? And you can see here um, we have another example, right? We have more than one uh, ones, right? So you can see we remove no ones, all the no ones, and then all 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 we have is no two and no three, right? So you can see here there. Uh, our, our constraints is that we could have zero nodes and the values is between negative 100 and 100, right? So it's guaranteed that the, the, the list that we're given is sorted. So how can we be able to solve this problem? To solve this problem, what we can do is we can use two pointers. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna comparing the current pointer, the current node with the future node, right? With the next node. If the current node has the same value of uh, that's equal to the nest node node's value, then what we're going to do is we're going to also remove the current node. So that's why we need the previous pointer points to the previous node. So there could be a situation where the current node, right, the head node is duplicate number. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a dummy node, right? So we're going to have a dummy node points to this node. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have pre points to here, current points to here, right? So our current pointer points to here. And then what's gonna happen is that we know the current does not equal this node. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift the left, uh, the previous pointer and the current pointer once to the right. So what's gonna happen is that we know that node two um, does not equal to the next node, next node's value. So we're gonna shift the pointer once to the right as well. And then once we notice that the current node's value is equal to the, the next node's value, we're gonna use a while loop, basically just continuously move the current pointer one to the right. Right, so we're gonna have no three, no three dot nest does not, uh, no three dot nest's value does not equal to current node's value. So what, what's gonna happen is we're gonna get the previous pointer, right, dot nest. Instead of pointing to no three, we're gonna get it pointed to here, this node right here. And then we're gonna get current, right, is gonna e point to this node. Now notice that the previous pointer still points to no two, right? So it doesn't really move. And then current node is pointing to no four. Okay, so what's gonna happen then is we're gonna get current node, right? In this case, the current node is no four. In this case, it equals to the nest node, right? Equals to the nest node's not value. So we're gonna to continue to move to the right. In this case, we have no four. No four does not equal to the future node, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically getting the previous pointer, instead of pointing to no four, we're gonna get this node point to no five, right? So we're gonna have no two pointing all the way to no five. Right, and you can see at the end we have no one, no two, no five, right? So instead of pointing to those nodes right here, we get no two pointed no five, right? And let's say we have another example like this, right? So in this case, we still need a dummy node because in this case, the dummy node, right, is basically um, the previous pointer, right? So we have previous pointer points here, the current pointer points to here. So in this case, the current pointer is equal to the nest node, right? In this case, no one is equal to no one. So we basically have to do a while loop, basically move the current pointer at the correct position. So in this case, current is still equal to, current node's value is still equal to current node.nest.value, right? So we're just gonna move the pointer to here. And then in this case, it doesn't now, right? So in this case, current node's value does not equal to current node.nest.value. So all we have to do is we're gonna get dummy node, right? Instead of pointing to this node right here, we're gonna get the dummy node points to all the way to node two, right? So all the way to node two, and then current should now points to node two. And notice that previous value still points to dummy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if the current node's value is equal to the current node's dot nest value, right? So in this case, it doesn't. So we move the previous pointer now points to node two, and then the current pointer points to node three. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if there is a future node, in this case it doesn't. So all we have to do is we have to return dummy.nest, which is no two and no three, right? So the head node, which is no two. So let's take a look at the code. And it's very simple. 
Uh, you can see we define our base case here. And then we define our dummy, dummy.nest is head. Uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to have a previous pointer points to dummy and then current is equal to head. So while current does not equal to null, right, we're going to continue to iterate. So in this case, we have a condition. If current.nest does not equal to null and current.val is equal to current.nest.val, right? So in this case, if the current nose value is equal to current.nest.val, then what we have to do is we have to iterate and basically current. If, so while current.nest does not equal to null and current.val is equal to current.nest.val, so current is equal to current.nest, right? So we continue to move the current pointer points to a correct position. And at the end, we're going to get pre.nest is equal to current.nest. And then you notice that we didn't move the, the previous pointer at all. Otherwise, we're going to move the previous pointer points to the current pointer. And then at the end, in this case, current is equal to current.nest, right? So basically, we're going to continuously do that until we iterate the entire list. And at the end, we're basically returning the head node. So the time complexity in this case is gonna be big O of n, where n is the number of nodes that we have in our list, and the space complexity is gonna be big O of one, right? So we're only using pointers to solve this problem. So there you have it, and thank you for watching.